Hey everyone! We've become kind of obsessed with using an AI image generator to create brand new Pokemon. This time we've input the 8 water starter types and ran the program, so let's go check out the results! This batch looks incredible! Let's take a closer look! This looks like Wobbuffet's face almost. He's almost got a Wobbuffet shape too. Weirdly, his body almost looks like Wobbuffet's tail. Like, you know how his tail has those like two white dots on it too. That's really cool. And kind of strange that we got like a Wobbuffet off of the eight water starters. Well, at least it's clear where his face is, right? <laughs> that, that top thing looks like a face. I, I like kind of how they all have similar positionings to their heads. I guess these could be legs or maybe these are legs and that's like... I don't know, stilts or something? I don't know. Taking some creative freedom, you could probably make something pretty cool out of this guy. Oh, I, I like this guy's sad face. When they have sad faces for some reason, it makes me laugh so bad. It, the eyes are especially sad. They're just that single eyebrow. Like, he's like looking down at his body. He's like, why do I have three legs? <laughs> or like... Oh man, some of these things, they just make me giggle so hard. I really like this one's like Metagross color palette. You can kind of see an eye up here. Maybe these are hands or eyes, but there's definitely almost another eye down here. It's very interesting looking. I'm not 100% sure what each piece is or where it's supposed to be positioned. I can make the assumption that this is supposed to be the head because all the other heads are roughly there. I still think that this guy could be something really cool if you kind of just moved his bits around a little bit. This is, this is a Squirtle in a trench coat. <laughs> it's like Detective Squirtle. I like how like stoic its face is too. It's just like, where were you on the night of the 10th? It's definitely got almost all of the Squirtle things besides his like legs. That there's definitely the tail, his head, eyes, little eyebrows, maybe some fins back there or something. I don't know, I really like this guy. This thing's face is amazing! It's got a cat mouth! <laughs> Where to get the cat mouth? It's so cute! It's got a dinosaur body, like little frills, and a cat face, minus the ears. This thing is adorable and would make an amazing Pokemon. I, I would love to see this thing in a game. I love this thing's eyes. I've been staring at it for a little while trying to figure out what each piece is and like decipher maybe what they could be, but I'm thinking maybe it's just like a worm or a fish. This could be a fin, that could be a fin, and then he's got like a dorsal fin. But I absolutely love the coloring of the eyes, like that cerulean gem look is really cool. <laughs> this one's got kind of a derpy face. It's not as like giggle worthy as like the super sad faces, but I do kind of like almost like the shelter look. Like he looks kind of like an upside down blue strawberry now that I'm staring at it more. Like those are the leaves and he's got like a strawberry head. A water blue strawberry. I like the idea. There isn't a terribly large quantity of things to like observe about this one. It's definitely got kind of fins. It looks fish shaped, which is also very strange. Kind of like a once again, like a deep sea fish of some sort, or worm. That's kind of cool. You could see this being kind of in the same category as like an unknown, if this is just like a giant eye. Yeah, it could just start off as like an eye stock and then evolve into like tentacle mass or something like Tangela or something. That, that could be cool. While I was looking at this one, I was thinking that maybe this was its face. But the further I looked at it, I'm like, so these things are definitely almost like tardigrade legs, right? So that thing is like a mouth face, and then this is like a deceptive face to fool your prey or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's definitely like got a cool body, and I think, I think this could be something cool. I haven't seen like a tardigrade Pokemon that I know of, so that could be cool. I really like this one. To me, it already has kind of a Machamp vibe going on. Like, these are its arms kind of like positioned in that superhero pose. These could be its legs. It's got like a big belt. And then I really like its face. I love how many of the AI generated ones kind of have that two colored face. I think it's a really neat idea to have kind of like asymmetrical colored faces. They look really cool to me. It's always kind of shocking to me when the AI takes the eight base pictures and then makes a Pokemon that almost already exists. This looks like a Tentacruel or a Tentacool. That's kind of neat. 
It has similar eye placement and everything. It You can see where it's kind of like basing certain pieces from, but it looks like a little octopus, which is very cool. I really like this guy. Sometimes you have to like really stare at these for a while before you kind of see something, but I think that this is its eye. And then it's got like a face down here. This is like its back fin and these are two flippers. And then you got like that big super ornamented dorsal fin up here. That thing's pretty neat looking. When I look at it like that, I could see this being a pretty cool Pokemon. I feel like I've seen a monster movie with this thing in it already. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm going to look at it and see if I can find something that looked close to this and then you'll see it in the video. But this thing's got an incredibly human eyes and almost a human looking face. It's got a vaguely Nidoqueen shape and kind of coloration as well. It's got very clear toes, which maybe totodiles? I have no idea. It's very interesting looking though, and I really like it. The longer I look at this one, the more I like it. It's kind of got that Indigo League legendary look, kind of like a Mew or something like that. It feels like those are legs, and then it has a very like nondescript kind of like ethereal body, and it floats around a whole bunch. Its head is very clear, eyes and mouth, or that's a nose. I love this guy. He could make something really cool. So for some reason, I get kind of a deep sea diver feel off of this guy. He's got arms, a big fin, his like body, kind of a more like squirtle type face, but then it looks like he's carrying like a Kabutops fossil. I think that could be really cool, kind of like they're like deep sea treasure hunters. <laughs> they have hordes of treasure. They like collect cloisters and stuff like that, clam pearls. I think that could be hilarious. I would love to see that in, in like an Arceus style game. This one is perfect. Like insanely perfect. Look at, look at how adorable it is. <laughs> oh my God, it's got me almost in a trance. Like it's perfect little eyes, it's little smile. It looks so polite in its stance. It could almost be like an earlier evolution of Quagsire. It kinda has that shape and color to it. It's so cute! I absolutely love this one. <laughs> like, this guy looks worried. <laughs> it, it's very, it's very Squirtle. Almost entirely Squirtle with maybe some like Mudkip feet. But it's got like these two huge balls or fins or <laughs> like flotation devices it's a water pokemon that can't swim that's why he looks so worried he's like i can't i can't swim don't put me in the water i i love this one <laughs> it's it's really neat looking i don't know exactly how i would describe it but you can just you can see it right like that's its face that's an eye those are like adorable little far-fetched feet it's it's perfect the way it is. I really like this guy. This is another example of like the directly split in half double colored faces that I really like that the AI makes. These things look really cool to me. I don't know why that coloration appeals so much to me, but it feels neat. I also like that this guy is basically wearing like a pearl necklace or something, or those could be lights. He's got very clear feet. I really like this guy too. I really, really like his face. Oh, this one got a perfect Oshawott face, which is pretty neat. And then it's kind of got like that Clefairy Clefable vibe sort of body. I like its little arms like on its face. It kind of looks a little worried. That could be like a little wing. It could be a water fairy type. That would be really neat. This one's a little bit of a mess, but it kind of looks like a moth or something, maybe? <laughs> There's like a face. It's got fins. Maybe? I have no idea. It is a mess. It's it's hard to decipher anything. These could be fins. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this thing looks like. This one sort of stands out because there isn't any like discernible eye shapes or face. Like we we saw the just the eye up on row two, but this thing doesn't look like it has eyes or a face, but it has very cool shapes, which I guess for like a water type Pokemon, you wouldn't necessarily need eyes. So that could be something cool that like lives around like heat vents or something. I really like the way it looks though. Oh man, <laughs> this one is also adorable. It's got like a little frilly dress. 
it maybe it's like a starfish or like an octopus. I love this one. Its eyes are adorable. Its mouth is cute. I don't know what that is, like a hairpin or something that looks like a bunny? <laughs> I love this thing. I love this one a lot. This one is also adorable, but it strikes me immediately as a jellyfish. It kind of looks like a jellyfish polyp. I like its patterning of like little red dots. It's two big eyes. It's kind of got a sad face. <laughs> But I really like its body shape. It kind of has like those winter hats with the big fuzzy ball on top look. I think it looks amazing. I would like to see this in a game. These are all pretty awesome. I really like the way the water Pokemon are turning out. They all have that similar placement to their heads. And almost every single one is adorable. So this is when we like to choose one and bring it to life as a 3D model. We chose this absolutely adorable, super polite best boy. <laughs> he is amazing! Look at him! It could make an awesome water starter. Like, you could definitely see starting a game and taking that guy out with you. His evolution tree could go anywhere because he's so nondescript, but at the same time, a perfect Pokemon. I really liked this guy, and I really liked the way that the model kind of portrayed his attitude. You could just see it always being upbeat and happy. I absolutely adore this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell us in the comments what you think this guy's name should be. Leave us a like, and subscribe if you're not. We also have a Patreon, where we've been hosting these AI output sheets if you're interested to look at them. Thank you again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye.